let's put our knowledge of the properties and formulas for sigma sums into practice. The first one is j equals 1 to 6 of 7. So what we know is that this is a constant. So if it's only a constant, we're only summing a constant, we can do it two ways. One, we can pull it out front, that'd be fine. Or two, we can use that constant formula that says this is equal to the constant times the, it's actually the difference of the lower and the upper plus one or whatever. It's really the total number of terms. Like if this was j equals two to seven, it would be the same thing. But that's a little extra flavor. So we get 42 when we, we evaluate that. Now for our next one, we're gonna have to use some of these formulas that involve the index. We have k equals one to 10 of 3k minus 2k squared. So what we can do is, since we have a difference, we can split those into two sigma sums. We can say that's k equals 1 to 10 of 3k minus k equals 1 to 10 of 2k squared, at which point we can factor out the coefficients. We can say that's 3 times k equals 1 to 10 of k minus 2 k equals 1 to 10 of k squared. At which point we would use the formula here. We would say this is 3 times 10, 10 plus 1 over 2 minus 2 times 10, 10 plus 1, 20 plus 1 all over 6. Right, that's that n times n plus 1 over 2, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Now we're going to do some simplification. This is going to be 110 over 2, which is 55. And so, is that right? 55 times 3 is 165. And this is 100, so if I do some, some pre-cancellation here, I can break this into, I can, that'll cancel into 5 with a 3 left over. That 21 will cancel into a 7. So now I have 5 times 7 times 11. So that's 35, which then, you know, I'm actually going to multiply by the 2. So I get 70 times 11, which is minus 770, which equals negative 605, I believe is the right answer. If it's not, eh, whatever, you get the point. Now up here, I have k equals 1 to 4 of 2k cubed minus 20k. Now for this one, k equals 1 to 4 is so low, I could probably calculate it by hand, but let's not do that. Let's do the same process we did here. Let's split it up. And then once it's split up, let's factor out the coefficients. So then we can use the formula that says that's n squared n plus 1 squared over 4 minus 20 n times n plus 1 over 2. So 4's cancel, so that's 2 times 4 times 5 squared. So 2's cancel, so that's 40 plus 1, right? That's because that's 80 over 2. So it's 40. 40 times 4 plus 1. So 2 times 4 times 5 times 5 minus 40 times 5. So 
8, 40, 200. It's 200. Well, zero. Almost like I did that on purpose. So that's the idea. Just apply these formula and you, you'll get some interesting results and you won't have to calculate these things by hand.